Davin Kearney, the owner of Fat Boy's Kitchen in Raleigh, says the COVID pandemic took a big toll on his business. With our employees, uh, they couldn't feed their families because we couldn't operate the trucks nor the restaurants, so it was really, really bad. He hopes we never experience another health emergency, and most people agree. But some workers' rights groups are asking the State Department of Labor to prepare for that possibility by making rules requiring employers to take certain precautions in the event of a similar health emergency. What we're asking all employers to do is to create a plan that would go into effect when a state of emergency is declared. And that plan would include lots of different things. Carol Brook, a senior attorney with the North Carolina Justice Center, says if the rules adopted, employers could be required to provide masks, ensure distancing, or make other plans to minimize the spread of an airborne illness. But again, these are all very um, specific to the individual workplace. Um, testing, symptoms reporting. The Department of Labor says it's going through the rulemaking process, which is required by law when it receives a petition like this. This is the public comment period. After public comment, the Commissioner of Labor can adopt the rule, send it back with changes, or not adopt it at all. The department also pointed out that going through the process does not mean the commissioner or the department endorses the petition. Just like masks themselves, just the idea of the rule is proving divisive. Ken Kempel thinks any employers having to provide masks is a bad idea. No, I don't believe they should. While Davin supports it. Because if uh, one person didn't wear a mask, it could affect the whole team.